Hello students, how are you all? I hope everyone is fine and you have understood yesterday the two pages. Today we are going to do page number 26. So till yesterday we came to know about the two jackals, how they were making the lion, you know, believing the lion, uh, making the lion to believe in those, their words, praising him and the lion also loved them, kept, kept them with him. But one day he heard a terrible sound and that sound disturbed him a lot and both of the two jackals went to find out who made that sound and they came to know that it was a bull who lost his way. Okay, page 26. He told Chalu that he did not know his way around and that he was willing to go and tell the king that he was sorry for annoying them. But he first wanted the king to promise not to harm him. The jackals told the bull to wait right there and off they went to Chang and told him that the creature that was making all the noise was only a bull. But the bull was no ordinary bull, he was a messenger of the gods and the gods themselves had granted him permission to roam wherever he pleased. Ah, I should have known, cried Chang. It was clear from his loud and fearless below that he had extraordinary powers. What should I do now? The cunning Chalus replied, I told the bull that he might be a king anywhere else, but here only you are the king. Chang sat up very straight and looked very conceited. Chalu added, I also told him that if he wants to live in the jungle, he has to come and say sorry to you. The king was so pleased by now that he was almost purring like a cat. And what did the bull have to say to that? He wanted to know. Chalu replied, he was agreed to come and bow before you on the condition that you promised not to harm him. The lion agreed happily. The two jackals looked at each other and smiled. They knew that the lion was now completely in their power and would agree to anything they said and soon the bull would be in their power too. The trick was to keep the lion scared of the bull and the bull afraid of the lion. So they went and told the bull that they would take him to the lion. They warned him that the king was very short-tempered and cruel. Now, uh, when the bull say the bull said that okay, I'll go to the king and I'll say sorry to him for disturbing, but the king has to promise me that he will not harm me. So both of them came back to Jang and said that that it was a bull who was making that noise, but it was not an extraordinary bull. He was a messenger from the gods. Then Jang said, "Yes, I knew it. This must be a very extraordinary animal." by the sound that he made. Then Chalo said, I said, maybe might be you are the, you know, god of some everywhere or king of any place. But in this place, Chang is our king and you have to f listen to him. Chang became, you know, immediately he straightened up and sat in a very proud position. And then Chalu also added that I told him that if you want to live in the jungle, you have to go and say sorry to our king. Chang was, you know, on the clouds of nine, flying, you know, with all those things. And he said, well, What did the bull say? What did the bull say? He asked. Then he, Chalu replied that the bull agreed to this, but he had one condition that you cannot harm him. And the lion agreed very happily. The two jackals also looked at each other and they gave a smile. Now they know that both the lion and the bull is under their control. They can manage both of them. The only thing is that they have to make the bull afraid of the lion and the lion afraid of the bull. That's the only three. So they went to the bull and they said that um, they will take him to the lion. And they also warned him about the cruelty and short-temperedness of their king but that he did not to be afraid page number 27 if you do what we say and listen to us always you will be safe they told him and promised to protect him from the lion the bull was very grateful to the jackals he went with them to the king and bowed low before him he said to the lion i'm sorry for making so much noise and disturbing you the lion praised his paw as if to say it was all right. Then he asked the bull to sit beside him and tell him all about himself. The bull sat down surprised by the lion's gentleness. He told the king 
I'm from a nearby city. I was carrying a load for a march to another city through the jungle. On the way, I fell down from exhaustion. The march uh, thinking me dead left me and went away. But I revived in a few days. I fed on the green grass of the jungle and became strong and healthy. However, I was very lonely. That is why I was calling out like that. He ended. The lion by now had taken a great liking to the bull. He told the bull to stay in the jungle and be his friend. You will never be lonely now, said the lion. You must live with me and tell me tales of the city. So the bull stayed on. He told Jung many stories about distant places and people. The lion became so fond of the bull that he almost forgot his ministers. He had no time for them now. Thus the jackals realized that those who try to act too clever and fool others end up fooling only themselves. So the bull came and met the lion and he apologized for making such noise and disturbing him. The lion also said that it's okay or it's all right. And he told the bull to come and sit beside him and tell him about himself. The bull started saying that he used to live in a nearby city and he was carrying load for a merchant to another city through the jungle. But he became so tired that out of tiredness he just sat down and the merchant thought that he died and left him there. But he woke up from his uh, you know faintness and started to revive in a few days by eating the green grass of the jungle and became healthy and strong and since he was lonely that is why he was calling out in like that way then the lion was you know very pleased by the bull story and then he said that you please stay in the jungle and become my friend and you will never be lonely here so the bull started to live with him and he used to tell him stories of the city. They both of them became such great friends uh, spending time with each other that the lion almost forgot the jackals. And then the jung jackals realized that if we act too clever and try to fool others, then at the end we only uh, you know, end up in fooling ourselves. So that is what the story is about. I hope you all have understood it. If you have any doubt, you can clarify it in the evening session. Thank you. Have a wonderful day ahead.